sort of thing. It's uh, basically slowed down so, uh, to such a speed that it's free falling into the lunar surface. But because it's not a free fall, it's a controlled fall. It's controlled fall, fall. Yeah. because there are thrust uh, on, on board to control its speed. Now the speed is now uh, 20 seconds. It will travel 600 meters. We can see the attitude control sensors are working. All these animation. So the attitude control engine and yes. are working, are kicking uh, because it controls the speed of our uh, meters. That's the distance China is going to travel until it landed on the moon. And it is descending from 100 meters to 30 meters about the lunar surface. And you are seeing the live feed from Chang'e probe. This is the pictures taken on the camera uh, of Chang'e 3 of the lunar surface. And these are the last 30 minutes for the journey of Chang'e 3 until it landed on the moon. Well, it is hovering again. It landed on the moon. Chang'e 3 is on the moon. The first Chinese lunar probe is on the surface of our celestial neighbor, the moon. Chang'e has landed. Looking very stable. Well, it seems that Chang'e is in good shape. Everything is perfect until now. This is the ch first Chinese vehicle to land on a celestial body. Well, this is a simulation of the unfolding of solar panel. But this simulation uh, derived from the real date of the, telem uh, the telemetry date. Mm. So it is based on the real-time data. Yes. It's not a, a random, it's not a random simulation. Yes. It is based on the data received from the probe. So it can represent the so real status actually of the it is what is happening vehicle. on yes. the probe. Uh, the solar panel is unfolding. That means uh, we will have power on the lunar probe very soon. And the mechanism of the solar panels is specially de uh, designed to avoid the influence of the dust mm. of the moon. So it can work properly. Mm. But can we tell how, how much dust uh, have been spread around by, by this landing? Because we use a different landing procedure method, uh, rather uh, comparing with the, uh, with the Apollo program, uh, it, you, we can see that from the descending camera, uh, there is little dust mm. uh, raised. To yeah, surprisingly, we, we didn't see a lot of dust. Uh, yes. We didn't see dust, and uh, also we, they, we also bear that in mind when we design this spacecraft, that the dust uh, 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 well, is avoided, and, mm. and then the, all the systems are functioning. Mm. Uh, even with dust, uh, we could still function some of the mm. uh, components. But to avoid dust, we have uh, adopted the free fall uh, of this spacecraft mm. uh, because it's, uh, the weight is radically reduced, and then the gravity of the moon is uh, sm uh, mm. smaller than the Earth. So it's a, it's a safe landing. Mm. Uh, we happily right, and very high definition, and we, that proves that the data transmission has been going on very well. This is from another ca monitoring camera, which is located right in front of the transpositioning mechanism to monitor the whole transposition process.
Now we can see that the rover has been going slowly to the surface of the moon via the transpositional mechanism. And can see what, what we see here is the photo of this rover departing from the transposition mechanism and it's captured by one of the monitoring cameras and based on this picture we are seeing that we can see the letters are in a very good position which suggests that the surface is in a good condition I believe the former wheels of the rover has already touched upon the surface of the moon. Now we can see that four wheels are all on the surface. Now six. And